Uh, the obelisk is now up to full height. Um, now I'm going to start tying the rows in and uh, get it ready for the coming season for growing. As you can see, this is the rose in question sent from heaven. Um, I've got it from the garden centre I've worked at. Uh, it's been grown by Wharton's Nursery, which uh, they are the largest grower of roses in the UK. And uh, to be honest, what uh, Robert Wharton doesn't know about roses isn't worth knowing, to be honest. Um, and as you can see from the label, it will get to eight to nine foot in height and is a, a particularly vigorous grower. Well, as we're in the month of uh, March or start of March, um, it's a little bit late, but I'm going to prune the climbing rose uh, as well to go around the new obelisk. Uh, you'll see that we've still got quite a bit of the old uh, foliage on there as it's been such a mild winter. So be, as we go along and start pruning and tying in, uh, we'll take off all the old stuff. Um, just that way, you mean, it means that uh, you're going to get shot of any signs of black spot or mildew from last season. Uh, it will also mean that you'll be getting rid of any um, dormant uh, insect eggs as well, uh, which will then obviously hatch out fairly soon uh, as the weather improves. So, um, yeah, we'll strip the plant and then start tying in. Right, so that's all the old foliage stripped off. Uh, again, as you start looking, um, if there's any signs of dead, diseased or damaged stems, uh, prune those off and then we can then start tying in all the good strong stems that we want to keep to form our proper framework. So where you're doing your tying in, if you've got a stem that's particularly stubborn to stay in place, then go over twice before tying a knot. Um, as per my wisteria video, uh, use the tight but loose approach so that the stem can still move but is um, held in place. And Rose has these wonderful things on it called a thorn. Use the thorns to help hold the string in place or to hold it against whatever you're fixing to. Right, so that's uh, the last of the pruning and tying finished. As you can see, uh, we've got the, the framework set out. Um, so that's ready for the growing season now.